Here we have a uh, little one-third horse, 120 volt fan motor. Of course, it's not hooked up to anything the way you see it here. It's just open. And I was asked the question, uh, if I took a PSC motor like this one and removed the cap and essentially just put these two wires together that were on the cap, would it run? Well, I know it'll run, but I want you to show what's going to happen. Now, I've got the cap in there. Now, before we get too far into this, understand what the PSC motor is. That's permanent split capacitor. Okay, it has two windings, a start winding and a run winding. Both windings are energized all the time. However, the run winding, which is the power winding, has lots of power going through it. However, even though both windings are energized, when this thing's running, this start winding is energized by uh, through that capacitor, which is a current limiting device. It places things a little out of phase to get the thing to start, but what it is there for is it actually increases the efficiency as the motor speeds up. Okay, so if I start and run this motor with no load on it, uh, it's going to draw a certain amount of power while I have this capacitor hooked up. So let's see what the power draw is with the capacitor hooked up. Okay, here we are happily running along. It's drawing 6.35 amps. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, shut this thing down and take both of those wires and just hook them together without the cap in the circuit. Let's see what happens. I want you to know right down here, I put those two wires together. The cap is no longer in a circuit. I just put them together. So the start winding is energized without the capacitor in the circuit. Now we're going to start it up. Okay, the motor's not starting, is it? Now sometimes they'll start, sometimes they won't. Okay, it's running. Nope, my amperage draw. 12.5 amps. It doubled the amps. The motor doesn't sound right. It sounds like there's something going on. It doesn't even seem to be on the right speed. Okay, again, I'm back with a capacitor on it. And when you compare it, you know, I don't have a tachometer for this thing, but it sounds right and it appears that it's going a little faster. Okay, so it does need the cap in there. If you take the cap out, you don't get the offset on the poles to get it to start and run normally. It actually will start sometimes, sometimes it won't. But even when it's running, that winding is not right. It doesn't work right without the cap. That's pretty much it on that one. You know, one of the things with troubleshoot, if you come out and the, the motor won't start but it draws a lot of power, you might check that cap. And if the cap's bad, it'll definitely do that. So, anyway, just a little experiment.